Oh. I can't believe I have project on the Aztec number system due tomorrow. Muttering. It doesn't matter anyways. Let's just get you warmed up. Thank you. Um, where am I? You are in the Aztec Empire. Home to the number chart. What do you mean number chart? Well, it's a system that consists of dots, lines, and other shapes. How does it work? Well, a dot or a rock equals one. A line or a stick equals five. Or a seed equals zero. And a feather, depending on how many lines it has, equals 100, 200, 300, 400, and this, 8,000. Anything else? Well, if the die is higher up, then it equals 20. So obviously you have numbers, but do you have opposite numbers to go with positive numbers? AKA, do you have negative numbers? Negative numbers. That sounds magical. Okay, so do you have integers? Integers, hmm, that sounds like a plant. I mean, I could show you our plants if you want, and maybe you can find the plant that you call integer. I'll, I'll, I'll take that as a no, and I'll pass on the plants. Do you guys have fractions and, dec uh, fractions and decimals, like numbers that go in between numbers? Oh, yeah. We have like 1.5 or 1 and a half? Yes, exactly. Just two more questions. Do you have perimeter and area like to measure to measure shapes? Yeah, we love to measure our shapes and have an exact measurement. It's one of my favorite things to do. One more thing. Do you have prime numbers? Well, we have numbers, so I'm pretty sure we have prime numbers. Okay. That's all the information I need. Now, um, how do I get back? Um, hmm. Oh, well, you came from the river, so maybe if you get back in the river, then you'll go to where you belong. Okay, good idea. Thanks for stopping by. Come back anytime. Okay. Now it's time to start a project.